Why hello there, and welcome to my sample series, where I showcase games running on the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One X in 4K and or HDR. This week, I'm doing Sonic Mania. This is running on an Xbox One X, and it's running in 4K at 60 frames a second. Now, this is a game that came out in uh, 2017, and I think uh, a year or so later, they released a uh, special edition version of it called Sonic Mania Plus, which I do not have. This is just the original one. And this is basically a return to the 2-bit uh, platforming origins of Sonic, made by a gentleman named Christian Whitehead, who is a member of the Sonic fan develop game development community, who uh, ported some of the earlier Sonic games to iOS and Xbox Live Arcade. And this was his chance to make his own game. And he did that. And I think it's pretty good. I did a full playthrough of it. And I even did a uh, relatively recent Modern Wednesday stream of it as well. And now I'm uploading some 4K, some high quality 4K footage of it. And I just love this intro. This is a great intro. Yeah, I'm going to spend some time today just going through some of the levels of this, showing this game off in higher quality. Like I said, 4K at 60 frames a second at about 40 megs a second bit rate. So, I'm going to hit the old start button here. Technically, it's not actually a start button, but whatever. Yep. I'm just going to show off some of the levels. Go through my completed uh, save. Go to that and use that as a starting point. Uh, I might do one video today, I might do two, I don't actually know. I'm not actually all that worried about it at the moment. But yeah, it starts out with the classic. Green Hill Zone. Unfortunately, I find myself not as good at uh, playing this game as I am at regular Sonic. As, and by that, I mean the Sonic on the actual Genesis games. One, two, three, Knuckles, Sonic CD. It's got a little bit of input lag in comparison to those. Not quite as sharp. It's better than, like, Sonic Generations. It's not quite perfect. All those rings. Yeah, this game is uh, not quite a throwback to the 16-bit games. There's a lot of stuff going on here that could not have been done on the Sega Genesis, and I don't just mean the resolution either. I think Christian White had said when he was interviewed about his intention to find this game is that he wanted to make what would have been a 2D Sonic game if it were made to the Sega Saturn. So this, to think of this as like the long lost 2D Saturn game that we never got in the Sonic series. Although up res on modern systems. Funny, because we never actually got a real 3D Sonic game for the Saturn either. We got like uh, Sonic 3D Glass, which is an isometric view which itself was support. Sonic R, which is a racing game, and Sonic Jam, which is a compilation of Sonic's 1, 2, 3, Knuckles. A special bonus stage. It's basically a, um... serves as the interface for these special features. So I want to get this thing. Oh, never mind. Now we're underground. Yeah, 
I really like the way the water looks in these 2D Sonic games. So crisp, so blue, so bright. I just like it. And stage two, we got a little bit of a change in music, as well as a change in the background. Not quite going to be speed running through these levels, but I'm also not going to be um, being any kind of completionist. I'm just trying to show off as much of this as I can. If I can show off the um, 3D stages. That'd be awesome. See if I can find a way over there. There we go. This sort of pays homage to the um, special stages from Sonic CD. Chase the UFO. In this case, it's just one. The more of these um, blue balls you get, the faster you go, and the more rings you collect, the more time you get added to your uh, timer. I seem to have lost track of where the UFO went. Somewhere over here, actually. Unfortunately, I was never uh, particularly good at this sequence. That's what happens when you fall through those holes, but hopefully that gave you an idea as to how that looks. Yeah, in this uh, playthrough I only had um, one Chaos Emerald collected. So yeah, that's more a reflection on me and my lack of skill when it comes to those sections. Yeah, those other ones you get from the lampposts, that's more about uh, the fear stages, and they get you, like, special features, like artwork and such. I like that effect, where the, um, bridge just burned off from that spiky bar just burns away with, from the fire shield. You get a similar effect when you're in the oil ocean stage, of setting the oil on fire when you're on one of those oil slides. I lost my fire shield. And I lost my rings, too. <laughs> That's not good. Probably saw that happen, but whatever. Alright, time for a boss fight. Oh, my God. 
I've never been particularly good at this boss fight either. <laughs> No rings left. Oh well. Still beat it, so that still counts. There we go. Who are these guys? Second stage from Sonic 2. Spend a little bit of time in here, but I really want to show um, my favorite level in this game more than anything. I really like the background of this level, the cityscape. I'm not sure how much a pixel art game like this benefits from being 4K, uh, but to be perfectly honest, I didn't really have, um, didn't really spend all that much time thinking about what game I wanted to do this week. And this was actually the most compelling one to me that I came up with. So I decided to go with it. I was talking about it with last week's video on Sonic um, Generations, so why not just do it? Okay, I hate this. How about if I just exit out of here? Show off another level. This is the one I really want to show. Love the music from this level. I think a little more than half the levels in this game are actually new levels. I, I, more, a little more than half the levels in this game are actually are uh, just uh, sort of recreations of old levels. Less than half of them are actually new ones. Like this. Maybe about a third of them are all new. Every Sonic game just about has its own nighttime level, either Spring Hill Zone or Casino Night Zone, in which case Scooby Office or Carnival Night Zone in Sonic 3. Don't hit that. This game's equivalent of a poison mushroom, really. I think other Sonic games had that too. They were just rare. By the way, if you haven't seen the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie uh, yet, you might want to do that. They have a um, really cool credit scene where they just basically uh, reenact the events of the movie using the Sonic Mania engine, pretty much. I thought that was really neat. In fact, I actually saw that they started production of a, um, of a second movie, a Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie, which will be the sequel to the first one. I really like this little detail here. Uh, old-timey cartoon of Robotnik there. 
I, I enjoyed the first movie enough, I'm going to see the second one. Such as they have more of the video game stuff involved in it. I kind of wish that, um, Nintendo would make a Mario game that was like this. But they haven't. Not really. The closest thing they've done is, like, Mario Maker. It relies on other people to make those games for them. And no new Super Mario Brothers does not count. The actual sprite-based 2D Mario game. Mario Mania type thing. That would be awesome. There you go. We that one. Don't hit the red box. Got it. Don't hit the blue bit of a glitch there. Sonic seems to have disappeared. <laughs> oh well. That's never happened before. Ah, there we go. Maybe you can understand why they thought it'd be a good idea to make turn Sonic into a pinball game. Sonic Spinball. I guess we have to go get some spears. Ah, 
Yeah, the timing of this because of the input lag inherent to the um, this game being... It makes it very difficult for me to actually do these stages. This is much easier on actual Genesis hardware for me. Especially with my uh, trusty open source scan converter with its lag free um, upscaling. Dagnam it. That's how you're supposed to get that. Oh, I got it. Cool. I did not get a perfect goal, which involves getting all the coins. But whatever. I'll take it. Of neat little things going on in this level. Ah, look at the giant robotnik screen. He's always robotic. Time for a boss fight. at all. <laughs> ah, flying batteries on this. This song's got some great music, but um not one of my favorite in terms of actually playing it, though. Kind of an unusual choice, in my opinion, for the second level in Sonic uh, Knuckles. Of course, if you think about it as just a continuation of uh, Sonic 3, I guess it makes more sense. Sonic 3 Knuckles is being one game, just the way the developers intended it to be. Fire shield. Should help. Look at these clowns. You could not do this kind of transparency with uh, a Genesis, that's for sure. 
These down outdoor sections are always dicey for me. But that down there is death. So don't fall down there. I don't know if you can tell in the background, but there's definitely a curvature to it. Think about like that on um, one um level from Super um Castlevania 4 maybe. It's not really rotating too much though. There's definitely some curvature there. I will do a second part to this simply because I'm still enjoying playing this and it's almost at that half hour mark, which unfortunately YouTube will in my oops, and have done that 4K video uploads to that. And I'm not sure why. But I think I will exit back to the main menu and I'll pick some more levels. So I'll be back in a few minutes for part two. See you in a little bit. <laughs> 